Is he playing with the dog? Probably not. Look at the body language of the dog. So much stress and fear. And now he's lifting him up with the collar. Okay. Why? He's gonna get beaten. Oh. Almost. Did you also hear that you need to be the alpha to get respect from your dog? Well, friend, this is wrong. I'm Dr. Ryan, a veterinarian and a veterinary behavior residency graduate. I'm going to react to this video by Beckman's dog training, link to the full video in the description and hopefully convince you that being dominant over your dog is not something you should do. You can solve issues by knowing how dogs really behave and not by practicing techniques that have been shown to be wrong a long time ago. This is Bear. Here we go. This is one of the most dominant dogs we've ever had here. Bear is a dominant dog? What does it actually mean? The term itself is so vague and general. You just saw that little fight. Bear said, I don't want you to grab me there. Yes, Bear is afraid of you. He's not trying to control you, but despite him showing you all the signs of fear and stress, you continue to fight with him. So he mouthed me and we got into a little battle. I'm not gonna lose this battle. That wasn't a battle. That was a person trying to make a dog do something he doesn't want to do by using force. This is for you folks at home that have a dominant dog. Bear came to us a week ago. We're still doing the battle. I'm still doing the battle with Bear and I'm not gonna lose. Now, I'm even more concerned. This dog has been treated this way for a week. What might happen is that eventually the dog will not show any signs of stress and will bite without warning. Also, a dog has the mental capacity of a young child. What battle are you trying to win over a child? You need to be the boss. What does that mean? I'm gonna tell you what that means. Bear's one of the most dominant dogs. By the way, dominance doesn't mean aggression. Dominance is an attitude. This dog, when my dog came out, Prince, who you've met, who you've seen in videos, Bear just went up to him and just stared him directly in the eye until my dog was like, okay, dude, my dog doesn't want to fight. Bear doesn't want to fight. Staring down another dog is a form of aggression, but it's true that being dominant in a specific situation, and it is not an attitude, like he just said, means that you actually don't need to use aggression to remain in control of a resource. Being dominant doesn't even mean that you will get the resource first. The dominant animal might let others eat first. I don't care what anybody says on the internet. Go up and type in dominance. You're gonna get positive reinforcement trainers saying it's not a thing. It is a thing. It is absolutely a thing. There's a reason when I have 20, 15 dogs out here there's no fights, because I am the boss. What do you mean there are no fights? You just showed us Bear being aggressive to you, despite rolling him over and being a boss. There is a reason that Bear, except for that moment right there, where he said, I'm gonna lay down, and I said, no, you're gonna get up, and he said, and he mouths my arm, that hasn't happened in a week since he's been here. So why did it happen all of a sudden after a week? Maybe your method is flawed? Listen, there's dominance and there's out of control dogs. I'm talking very specifically about dominance. How do you know if your dog's dominant? Well, there's dominance to people and there's dominance to dogs. Your dog just mean, not being aggressive, your dog just mean mugging dogs, just staring at every dog until a dog submits. That's dominance. Your dog lunging at you and lunging at you and biting you, not hard, but play biting you. Wait, wait, stop. So you were saying that play biting is dominant? I thought it was, well, play. And then you kind of telling him to stop it and I'm just saying, I don't care what you say, right? It's a gut feeling on whether your dog's dominant. Oh, so a definition of dominance is a gut feeling? Very scientific. You know what dominance is in sociobiology? controlling, prevailing, or 
powerful position, especially in a social hierarchy. But we, as humans, are not a part of a dog's hierarchy. And also, one situation will have one dog dominant over another, but it might be different in another situation. So dominance is a real thing. It's just not what you say it is. So you got to display some. You got to follow up. You got to stand tall. Okay? I'm serious around this guy. When I say something, I mean it. Let's say I wanted him to stop smelling. Stop. Leave, leave prints. Okay? Leave it. Go. 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 All right. He wasn't doing anything wrong. I don't care, though. He wasn't doing anything wrong. You don't care, but how confusing is it to be stopped randomly for doing something that is allowed? Dogs need predictability in their lives. Knowing what is allowed and what is not in a consistent way is what you should do. Like, I, I can still do a leave it whenever I want to do a leave it. I went around and I, I made him go away from Prince. Did you see his body language? His ears pain, he said, okay. This guy's the boss. This guy means business. Yes, that's called fear. You want your dog to fear you? Well, do we want to break Bear? No. Bear's going to be Bear. He's going to be a good dog for the most part. But he needs to know that he doesn't run the show. Uh-huh. Everything you said and did was to try and break him into submission. Having a dog is not about respect. It's about cooperation. If your dog is aggressive, then you need to understand why and treat it. Play aggression is not territorial aggression. Territorial aggression is not fear aggression, etc. So you shouldn't just address the problem by making the dog afraid to show when something is bothering him. Treat the underlying cause and avoid the triggers until the dog is ready to gradually be introduced to them with reward-based training. We want the dog to learn that life is good. Not that life is a hierarchy and they are at the bottom. You probably also know this dog trainer, so check out what I had to say about his video.